Well, hello YouTube, how's it going? I'm going to be doing a video on how to properly use my menu. Now that I've got it all complete, I've had it complete for a while, I've just been too lazy to make a video, so here's your video. Of course, once you get it in your USB and put it on into your PS3, you'll hit select and you'll get my lovely little message here. It says, thanks for using my uh, V1. Have Hope you have fun. And then um, hit up, and then, of course, how to use my menu is select up to open it. R3 to select things and then circle to back out. Okay, that's easy enough. All right, so the top ones here, I have the start button to let you know that they're quick options. So this is a quick option just to host CFG real quick, host UAV aim assist real quick, which makes aimbot a lot better. So let's say if you want to use aimbot, which I'll show you later, makes it a lot better. And then you have fast restart, which is obviously self-explanatory. Host only jump, also self-explanatory. Makes only the host jump, no one else can. And then the sub two joke, which is just a little spam that says, hey, sub to me. And then um, open my menu, and if you guys haven't noticed this little glitch in the menu, it's just how the menu is. I think it's really put in there for a quick access to the infection menu, um, or whatever. Um, see, if I close the menu, open it up, and then just click on R3, it'll bring you straight to the infection menu, which is down a few. So instead of having to scroll down and give infections, it'll bring you straight to it. But um, So if you want to just use the quick menu, you just have to hit up once and then go down again. So you click into the quick menu, and I have... My real aimbot, my trick shot aimbot, which is basically just no scope aimbot. You don't have to tap, you don't have to aim at all. It's just um, aimbots for you. You just shoot, you just shoot, and you'll see it here. See, it'll make your, and then when you shoot, if you see that, it'll make them small. That's what, um, that is how it aims. It's just it's in, um, in the coding. And then aimbot for LMGs is just simply, it's just five round burst. It's very simple, um, and the explosive bullet editor only works if you are um, if you edit your name into the patch. So you scroll over, you just scroll over. You don't need to click on anything. You just scroll, and then um, here it'll be 800 um, 800 damage, explosive damage, which is pretty strong. Like if I shoot here, it won't hurt me. Ooh, I need to turn the, the that um, burst fire off. Anyways back to alright so this is 800 damage the green and that won't hurt me from here and then I go up to two, 2000 that's 2000 is yellow and then I put nine nine thousand nine hundred nine here I can reorganize them but I don't feel like it <laughs> and um so 2000 2000 is pretty strong but it's not quite strong enough to kill me outside the map see how it hurt me there we go I mean it, so it's, pr it's pretty tough it's pretty tough then I go to 9999 and that's that's pretty tough too. So now this whole jump just to get back up here real quick. All right. So then, 9,999. I mean, this shit is strong. You just um, you have it on red, and I can shoot at this mountain out here. See, so you know how far this mountain is out here compared to the map. Let's see if I can scroll down. And you see the fence? I scroll all the way up to this mountain over here, and I can shoot the mountain, and it'll still kill me. I mean, that's extremely strong, super uh, explosive bullets. So um, that's really strong. It's really fun to do if you're in spectator mode, spectator god mode, which I will do, show how to do real quick. Um, it's fun. Anyways, back to the quick menu. Um, then you got force host, which you need good it helps if you have good internet, fast, and you can't shut it off. I some menus have it sh been able to shut off, but I can't seem to get it to work. So I just figured if you want force host, you want force host. Um, you just invite one of your friends to hold it for you if you want to turn it back out to main menu and turn it off. Super stopping power, self-explanatory, super reload, uh, guide mode change teams. As you'll see when I turn it on, the XP bar shall appear. Okay, and you turn it off. Let's say you're playing online. This is normally there, okay? Let you know that you're online. You're gaining XP. So now you're online, right? And you want to turn it off. Now you're able to change teams. Otherwise, normally, you can't change teams. I want to change teams. Can't do it. Okay, so you turn it off. Then you change teams and you spectate someone, right? You go spectator because you spectate someone. And I spectate my friend Mike over here. <laughs> and then you click, well, you're still opening the menu. You don't close or anything. Click on it again. And then the spectator will go away. And then you just choose whatever team you want. And then see, I have this lovely symbol over here. Oh, it's lovely plant that I just showed door. Anyways, and then see, they won't show up on your, um, your, your, your. What is that called? Radar. That's what I'm looking for. Radar anymore. And, um, which means you're invincible. Okay. So, like, try to kill me. Try to kill me. Kill me. Kill me. Kill 
See, they, they can't kill me. They can't. They can't do it. Not possible. Not possible. See, then, I, then you can be like a, a total loser and put on explosive bullets and just, and just, you know, just shoot, shoot over here and kill people behind you, right? Like, it's really fun. You turn on, um, so you just jump up here real quick and you shoot outside the map, right? Just give me a second. Trying to, trying to play with one hand, basically. Okay. So, fuck. I'm trying to get up on this, this thing here. Okay. So now you have super nuke bullets on, right? And I can kill people outside of the map. Watch this. Look at that. Look at that. Wait, wait. Let's, let's, there you go. It's, it's just awesome nuke bulletage. Alright, anyways. So that's pretty awesome if, if I do say so myself. So then where were we? Where were we? Okay, force host, super stopping power, god mode. FPS just turns that off, lets you know who's host, who's not host. Blah, blah, blah. Freeze Mexicans, makes it so you can't move. Alright, seems trying to sprint, can't move, can't, can't move. Neon yeah, freeze Mexicans, okay. Stupid Mexicans. In Superman mode, which is just like UFO mode, you just sprint forward and jump and you hover in the sky. I'm Superman, we And you hover around, it's pretty awesome. Your name has to be edited, edited in this for that. Which, like I said, um, that's an another video. Quick money, alright, you want to get rid of Superman? You just say no, no more, no more Superman, right, right here, no more Superman. And this is all in the quick menu. No more Superman. I don't want to be Superman anymore. He's only cool for so long, anyways. And you got unlimited game, which turns the time unlimited. See, bam, time's gone. And you got 900 on clip, just to be if you want to. I have this big ass motherfucking clip. And then you fill it all up with scavenger packs, and it's awesome. And then just UAV if you want to have it on there. Okay, so that's the, that's the quick menu. And then if you want to get rid of the clips, just hit select. And it gets your regular 200 round clip. Um. Anyway, so lobby menu. I have super jump, which controls how high you jump. You know, right here is about normal jump. It's a little higher than normal jump, but I figure that's about as close as I can get. And then um, you just go a little higher. And you scroll a little higher, a little higher. You don't cl you don't need to click R3 for these. You just scroll. See now I'm jumping a little higher. Let's see. I look down. You know, a reference point. Let's see. Reference point. You know. There we go. And then you may you know you make it really, really high. Uh, there you go. Look at how high that is. Trying to see if I can get a decent VC. Really high. Anyways, you back out and it'll bring you back to the lobby menu. You just gotta click on it again. And you super speed. Super speed, you can't walk. This is not moving at all. And then this is moving really slowly. See, look how slowly it's moving. And then you move a little faster, a little faster, a little faster. Oh no, I don't want aimbot. A little faster, a little faster. And then we see if we turn this up. You go insanely. Oops. Insanely fast. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah. Blah, 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 blah. Watch this. Watch. I'll, I'll lay down. Watch this. I'm trying to lay down here. I can, I, I'm like a super snake. I'm like snake tastic. I'm laying down. Okay. That's fun. Ghibli bits. And then you've got gravity editor, which is always fun. It's always good. Oh, I need to turn on speed. You gotta remember to turn this stuff down. Okay. And you turn. Turn the speed down, turn the speed to normal, I have it in red for y'all convenient like, see that red? That's about normal speed. It's a little faster than normal speed, but it's, it's close. Lobby menu. Um, gravity is always fun. Turn the gravity down, and it's like, you can make it so you stay up in the air. I see I'm floating, and then you turn it down, and then you'll slowly come back down. Or you can make it like super high gravity, so you can't jump, so it's like, but I super jump on, so then you fall really quick, so it's like, Super jump, and you, but you fall really quick. See, that's like really high gravity. Like I try to throw a stun, it falls straight down. I see it, it like falls straight down. I watch my watch my knife. Falls straight down. You see that? Like I threw it straight, but it threw it. That's pretty cool. Anyways, so you want to have uh, it's about normal normal gravity right there. Have it all red and red for you. And then I have um, I got slow motion. And my nuke bullets on still. So I'm awesome. And then you have normal normal speed. AC-130 death, which is pretty cool. Um, you gotta kill. They, someone's gotta have Marty Dom on. Um, you gotta have to have Marty on. It changes your Marty Dom to a AC-130, which is pretty cool. Then I have look behind you, which gets rid of the map. It's like whoa. And I turn around and it's like gone, which is pretty sweet. Third person, which is obviously third person. Um, knife range, burst fire, which is, makes your three-round three, three round burst weapons full auto. Wall hack, which is just see-through walls. And I have super wall hack just to be funny. 
and then back to normal, and then super wall, and then normal wall hack, and then super wall hack, and then back to normal. Pro mod, oh, like this stuff, right? Okay. Fun lobby, which is just fun lobby. It freezes the lobby. It loads up. Loading fun. If you see that loading fun, lobby is now fun. Funification. It's got super jump and super speed on. It's kind of cool. One vote to skip. One vote to. Ooh, you can see this. Sorry. One vote to skip and scoreboard font. Um, you can change your scoreboard font. I can't show that to you because I can't hit select, but it changes the font of your scoreboard. It's the same menu. I got the sub menu. You know, those are pretty. Um, can't do challenge. People who always ask for challenge lobbies. Can't do challenge lobbies. That is nice. You know, just, just get just done. Tro. Just stole that from. Um, Joker mods. I'll, I'll admit it. Um, calm down, bro. It's just a game. Calm your tits. Um, watch the kill cam. It's funny because I killed you. Okay, it's funny stuff. I mean, I'm trying to be exciting as, as exciting as possible. Map menu, which is kind of self-explanatory. It's got all the maps. Rust, scrapyard, terminal. Um, underpass, all the maps. Game type. You got free for all, domination, search and destroy, HQ, team deathmatch, global thermonuclear war. You got 18 people match, which doesn't seem to work. It kind of works, but it doesn't. I don't. I, I haven't tested it fully, but it doesn't seem to work. You got the five-minute nuke, which you have to restart the game. I have that. Need to restart the game. You click on it and then restart the match. Then you got um, XP on or off, which is pretty awesome. You can turn XP on for private match or XP off, turn it back into private match. Then I have low XP, normal XP, or big XP. And then it's my lobby. It just changes so that when I hit when I click on um, when I end when I end the game, it says. Um, instead of rust or free, instead of saying free for all or team deathmatch, it says Ian Pogan is 12. That's all it does. And then um, you have your infections, which are all you know. You read them. You know, let's say host your own UAV, which is just and like you give this to someone. And let's say they like to give infections to people. You when they hit select, like you give this to them, they go to split screen, and then they can give themselves UAV and they can give other people it. Okay, it's just it's kind of cool. Um, that's, I can't I can't really explain it other than that. Change team, which is the god mode infection. That makes it so you can do, turn the XP bar on and off with just an infection. Um, as opposed to bullet infection, you need to edit people's name in there. But let's say if I wanted to give um, my friend who I'm playing with, um, if I wanted to give Mike Mikester, I'd edit his name in it and then host it for him. And then he'd have explosive bullets whenever he, I gave him that infection. And then you have a kick infection, clan pack. Three page mini menu. If I host it now, it'll lag because it's got so much text. It's a three page mini menu. The texting, the coding for it is really, really big. And if with um, four people in the lobby, it lags, which is really lame. But so you have to host it in split screen. I have it right here. So split screen, then give to people. So if you don't understand that, then um, yeah. And I have unlock infections. I really, I really made these ones. These ones I didn't copy from anyone other than these top three. Um, tar unlocks, EBR, RPD, AK-47, ACR, just all, like, you do, like, the, every other infection, and then I have the three prestige, the four prestiges, can't count. Kick menu, you can kick everyone, um, or you can kick individual people, it doesn't say their name, I'm sorry. Verify people, it is just like me, I now have explosive bullets, you can't see, but I do. I um, can't really explain it. You just edit people's name in there and you can verify people, give them explosive bullets, super jump, stuff like that. Spam menu, um, just, you know, spams. I don't have very many because I'm not really a spam person. I threw this one in there because everyone likes to be a troll. Um, and then I have random extras, which has, once this goes away, um, random extras, which is uh, self unlock. If you um, you need the separate unlock file, put that on there. Just, so change your tag in mid game. You can change it instead of troll. I can change it to you know whatever. Just give me a second. No. Sorry. I'm just. You know it says host. And then I just, you just hit start, and it changes your. So now it'll freeze up, and you'll be like, I can't use anything. You just had to. You gotta just open your menu again, and then go back down to random extras. And then I've got teleporter gun, which is pretty sweet. It obviously um. And then you just hit you shoot, and look at it teleported me. Here, and then watch this and see if I can do this. And it teleported me. 
over here. It's not very accurate where it teleports you. But you shoot and it teleports you in that direction. It's kind of like I said, it's fun. <laughs> kind of jump you all around the map, really. Let's see. You know, it's it's fun. And then to turn it off. You just got to go back in the menu and turn it off. Hit random extras. Tele tele teleport gun off. Bam. And then change XP. This this is for um personal. If you want to derank yourself, like I um like sometimes if you want to like right now if I were to go into a lobby lobby leaderboards, I wouldn't can't tell my KD because I my XP is so messed up from doing the thousands millions of XP. Uh, it doesn't work it. And then I have shader menu, which is kind of cool. Um, some people like these. The blue tiger, the gold, just plain gold, the checkerboard, um, red tiger, woodland. Fog, it's uh, you can't really see it, but it's kind of there. Fall, prestige, uh, prestige 10, 3, 6, 9, 1, uh, 8, and 1. And then if you don't want it anymore, you just clear. See, it's not there anymore. And then um, clan tags, if you want to change, change it, like now, if I were to go into the random extras menu and in the game clan tag, there it says bands, you know. And then if you go to clan tags again, and I want to make it go with the at symbols, and then random, you know, and the in clan tag, it's the at symbols. It just changes your clan tag. So I got two more sub menus to fill up. I just don't know what to put in them. So that's my menu. Um, hope that helped you use it. Um, so it's really fun to do. Is you do something like uh, once you get host, like once it says this or your name. Once once you get host, and you just go to uh, you go to game type, and you just uh, you put big freaking XP on. And then you just sit here in spectator god mode. See, like I'm in god mode. I can't kill myself. I don't even get affected by stuns. Check this out. Watch this. No effect by stuns. Okay, that shows you I'm god mode type thing. All right. Anyway, so that's pretty sweet. And then I can run around with explosive bullets and kill people. Um, and you get two thousand. You know, you host these online. Make it online XP. You can change it. Let's say you have a full lobby of eighteen people. You play click ground war. You can go change it. You can change it to whatever. It's it's fun once you get used to it. Um, I don't know if I missed anything. Um, remember to edit your name into it. Watch my other video on how to edit your name into it. I have a few, three or four, at least three or four videos on how to edit your name into a CFG. It's really simple. Um, I'm not gonna do it right now because I said I don't really care. You guys can. Um, watch my other videos for that because I don't have my computer right next to me I'm gonna have to go and do a bunch of other stuff but you know see I got the 1 million XP it's actually yellow it actually levels you up it actually gives you instant command uh, commander it's like nine million nine hundred ninety nine thousand whatever lots of XP so um, it actually would so it, that's what you can do and like I said and then since it's online technically I could leave the game you know, and then here's the scoreboard font. You see that? Um, so, you know, it changes your scoreboard font, which is kind of cool. And bam, sub to Invoice Twelve. Help this, help you use my menu a little better. I know I ramble a lot, but um, just remember to subscribe, like my videos, comment with any questions. I know I'm not the best at explaining shit because I'm not a teacher. I can't teach you stuff. Um, I haven't been on lately YouTube or my account just because I'm getting sick of it. I've been doing it since last October and it's now almost October again. You can only mod so much before it gets boring as shit. Um, although I have been playing a lot of zombies on my other account. I have, let's see how many accounts I have, sirs. Alright, well there's um, there's my dad, but that's that's me. Everyone just calm the fuck down. That's my dad. That's Magic Bananas. I play in that one. That's my friend. That's my other account, so let's see. We'll start up here. Sorry. One, two... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I got ten accounts. I play on all of them randomly. This one is mainly Netflix. That way, I don't no one bugs me. I just call it Mister. I don't like being bugged when I watch Netflix because you get messages. Will you add me? Will you send me a friend request? Blah 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 blah. But anyway, so I play on different accounts, and I'm not always on my YouTube one. Um, I like to play a lot of zombies, like I said. So if you want to play some badass zombies, get some glitch and fill up your, your transit bank with me. We can have a good time. Also, add me for that. Or Black Ops 1. If you have all the maps on Black Ops 1, I love Black Ops 1 too. So, um, hit me up with zombies. And, um, I guess, this is Info Mr. 12.
and I'm out.